Hello folks, Kyle here, Dark Dirty Outdoors. Hey today, this is just going to be a, a, a short video. Uh, it's kind of a hot topic in the deer hunting world right now. Uh, there was a young man here in Ohio, Clinton County, Ohio, that shot a uh, potential world record typical whitetail buck. Uh, the buck, the rack was green scored was a score of 235 and 7 eighths. And if, if it scored that or really close to that after the official drying period, then it would be the new world typical uh, rack for a buck. Um, however, um, it seems as though that, that buck was poached. So that's kind, of a, that's kind of a sad outcome or result for, for what is just a magnificent animal. It's really a shame that it's come to that. There are some facts around the story. There's some speculation and some uncertainty. And then there's some wild, crazy stuff around this, the story of this deer. I'm going to start with the facts. Uh, we know for a fact the Ohio DNR did confiscate the rack and the, uh, the hunting equipment used to harvest the buck. Um, we know that for a fact that has been published on the uh, the Ohio DNR website. Now, if you're familiar with the hunt Ar the hunter podcast, uh, it is on YouTube and it's other places where you can find podcasts. They hosted the young man C.J. Alexander onto their show to share his story, to share the story of the harvest, to to show off the the rack. So they got to interview the guy, talk to him, uh, get to know him. Well, they have a pinned comment on YouTube under that podcast that states, waiting on official from Ohio DNR, but all indications are that CJ confessed to poaching. So that's a little bit of speculation surrounding what, what actually happened with, with the Alexander Buck. Um, but I think that's pretty clear. You know, these guys, they met him in person. They've they talk to him. They know the guy. I don't think they would put that there if they weren't certain that that was, that was accurate. Now, I'm in Ohio, so I'm kind of in it. I, I belong to a lot of the Facebook groups that are Ohio deer hunting. Um, and I've seen a lot of th stuff thrown back and forth. There's people that are saying, oh, it's, it's just a technicality. He shot it on his sister's land, but... His, it's his half sister, and and the mom is is part owner, and she didn't sign a slip for him, and and that's why he's in trouble, folks. It, it's all speculation right now, but I do not believe that is why the young man is in trouble. Um, I I don't believe it's a technicality. Now we all make mistakes. Uh, honest mistakes. You know, I I wouldn't beat a guy up too bad for that. Um, there was a time when me personally. I was uh, intending to hunt public land, and I believed that I was on the uh, within the high water mark for a, a river that was on public land. And I had the landowner and his son come down and say, "Hey, you, you know, you're you're on our land." Um, and if I was, we're talking like five or six feet. But that's neither here nor there. It was an honest mistake on my part. I did not knowingly cross the line to to be on on his. Uh, his property, there would have been no advantage for me to to be five or six feet closer to the edge of his his land. Um, but it happened to be youth season. He was there with his son, who I don't know was probably eleven or twelve at the time. And I told him, I said, "I'll get that." This was this was early in the morning, like first light of morning hunt. And I told him, I said, "I'll get down." I was up in my climber. He says, no, no, no. He says, go ahead and stay there. Uh, but if a deer comes in, you know, let my son go ahead and take it. And I said, yeah, that's fine. I, I don't have no problem with that. So I just kind of sat there for the morning and, and had a bird's eye view to watch. And the young man did shoot a fine eight point buck. But I was in the wrong. That was an honest mistake on my part. But I can admit that I was in the wrong and I did something wrong. Um, but I didn't do so knowingly. 
I didn't go out of my way to cross a boundary onto someone else's property knowing it was a, their property and knowing I did not have access to it. I think that's a little bit different. I don't think this young man is in trouble for an honest mistake. I'm speculating and there's speculation on both sides. Um, some people believe that that he shot it on his sister's land and he just didn't have permission from the mom and that's why he's in trouble. Um, I, I'm not one of those people. I think he went on to somebody else's property that he knowingly had no permission, no access, no verbal, no nothing. Knew he wasn't allowed to be on that, that land. And he shot that deer. And then he moved it after dark over to his sister's land. And he field dressed it there and made it look like that's where he shot the deer. I believe that is why he's in trouble why he's being investigated um and i you know it's it's pure speculation i don't know but uh i think there's a difference uh one last thing that is uh speculation in regard to this uh this alexander buck uh and that's in regard to the fine ohio the ohio dnr many years ago, they implemented a restitution fine system for trophy bucks. So any buck that will grow score 125 inches or larger is subject to a restitution fine. And uh, they use an algorithm to determine, you know, what that fine is going to be. And the larger the buck, the larger the fine. That's how that works. Um, it's, it's intended to discourage people from doing this exact thing, you know, discovering a, 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 an exemplary buck and then deciding, well, I, I'm, I'm just going to go after it anyway. So it is believed that the restitution fine for the Alexander buck is going to be in the neighborhood of forty to $50,000. That's, uh, that is a steep, steep price to pay for thinking you can get away with, um, you know, illegally killing a buck. A, a trophy caliber buck really any deer I mean obviously if a guy is uh, hunting at night out of his truck with a high-powered rifle and a spotlight yeah that's obvious poaching but uh, I, I truly believe anyone that is going to knowingly and willingly cross a boundary they know that they're not allowed to cross and go on to that property and shoot a deer and then try to sneak it off that property. And in my opinion, that, that's poaching as well. That That's pretty clear and obvious poaching. Um, but anyway, love to, love to hear your thoughts. Uh, welcome, welcome your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Uh, be great to, to hear from you folks on, on this subject. And uh, I probably should have done this as a live stream, but I don't know. I just thought I'd throw it together as a short video. As always, thanks for watching.